factory GM gauge clusters are kind of boring, at least for these years, just orange needles. I mean, they were like that since like 91, 92. So uh, we're gonna update them today, go to LED. Uh, if you guys probably saw in older video, we did red LEDs on the uh, steering wheel controls. We're gonna keep that going, do some more LEDs inside, like on the climate control, and kind of chip away at it, we want everything to be red. Um, white LEDs behind the gauge cluster and then we're gonna put new needles in it I got those here I'll show you guys once we get uh, to Greg's house I've been doing a lot with Craig lately you know he has a Duramax already he's done a lot of these things to his truck so it's kind of cool to get his take on it and uh, you know help me out so yeah we'll see when we get there so we're gonna update to these red needles we got some LEDs we're gonna have to solder in. They're not plug and play on these. You gotta get the old ones out and solder new ones in. So Greg's the master at this, he's gonna give it a hand. Alright, so far we got the gauge cluster out. We ended up having enough bulbs to do this. So check this out. How sick is this? When it gets dark, I'll show you what it looks like at nighttime, but damn. That looks good. So we are doing the four-wheel drive switch. Next, uh, we don't have enough bulbs to do any of this. We'll do that at a later time. I just ordered more, and we got the gauge. Gauge won't look too much different because we didn't really get a faceplate or anything. Um, but different colored needles, different style needles, and uh, upgrading to LED lights instead of like the yellowish incandescent bulbs. Looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. Uh, that looks hella good. Hit me. Let's get rid of that beep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That was good. Everything's on. Turn it on real quick. 
guess that's the real critical point, huh? Cool, it worked. They should. They did before. <laughs> I think that looks hella good. You can't see any of these over here yet? No. Not dark enough. You can't see the steering wheel either, though. No. Just barely. They don't work. Yeah, I like that. This came out so good, though. Yeah, I like the way that turns out. Now, now it's dark, we can really see everything. I think these gauges turned out sweet. And the LEDs were white, but they have like a blue filter behind it, so it makes them look like blue-ish. Um, red needles, steering wheel controls, four-wheel drive is red now too, and we had enough, but this is what really looks good. I think that turned out perfect. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. I'm not too worried about doing the uh, CD player because one, they take a lot of LEDs and, and two, I'm going to get an aftermarket head unit anyway. So next, we're going to do the headlight switch and then the door switches as well. But, yeah, that looks good. Absolutely love this. I think it turned out great. And the needles looked a lot more like not orange really, but like not quite as dark red as these actually turned out to be. So I'm happy. It, it, it looks really good. And we got the needles to match where they were factory, so nothing's off. If you saw, we I can't play any of the audio because we had music playing, so I'm just gonna I, I put music over it. But uh, anyway, you saw we put tape down, and we marked where they were, and we pulled them off, and then when you put them back on, you gotta like put them back on the little shaft, and then twist them a little bit so you know it, it'll spin a little bit on the shaft to where it lines up with the mark you had when the gauges were factory, and that's pretty much it. Now these LEDs solder in, you kind of saw we were doing that. And we have the edge in sight. Uh, CTS2 to verify everything is correct and it is. Well, I think it turned out really good. Drop a comment, tell me what you think. Tell me what colors you would like. Um, I was thinking about doing it to the black truck as well. Um, red, I like red because it's not too bright, it's not distracting. The blue I think would be too much. I was thinking about doing green in the uh, black truck. But let me know if, you, if you've done it before, if you've done green, if it's not too bright. Or if you think the red just looks sick, I think the red looks sick. We'll do it on the black truck as well. So we'll have some left over, so might as well. Customers freak. Now that it's daytime, I'll show you what the gauges look like. Uh, sun, sun. With the sun out. See, they look pretty red. to see what these look like. I guess we kind of saw yesterday. Yep. No copyright infringement here. You can't really tell. Cool. And this stupid thing, suction cup keeps coming off. Hmm. Piece of junk. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for stopping in. Tell me what you think of the LEDs. Tell me what color you think we should do for the black truck. Um, black truck, we do have a Denali gauge cluster. So it already has like the white needles, um, but they can definitely be changed. I pretty much just put that gauge cluster in just because it has the trans temp built into it. But anyway, like, subscribe, check me out on Instagram and the Switchless 6.0. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.